Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hadef and I'm here to spotlight uh, basically a design for a pelican that was originally made by X133. Here you can see I've changed them a little bit. We have a normal version on the left and a blown out version on the right. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing this in this video is showing you how to recreate it. So the first step is to put this walkway large, 15 degree incline like that, but obviously you can shift around to what you want. Then you're going to start adding these small bridge uh, pieces. So one at the very front here. Put it also at the 15 degree incline, just like that, and you want to put it right at the tip of the nose. Then you're going to start putting medium pieces. This one you're going to keep at the 15 degrees, so it's going to follow the contours of that. Next one you're going to change slightly by 5. So it's going to be a little bit off, you have a nice sloping of the pelican away from the cockpit. So 5 away there. Then you're going to put another 2 right back here. Um, and these are going to end up being level. So put one there, and then the other one I'm putting here. Actually, sorry, it's not level, it's at a 5 degree from uh, what would be the horizontal. Um, but it does level at, uh, at a certain angle. Then we're going to go ahead and put a platform Y large up top. And put that at the same sort of angle that the walkway is coming in. Merge it just like that. You can see where I'm putting the front is right where that sort of entrance of the walkway large is. Then I'm going to start building what is the basically I guess the crash cage or the um, the front of the cockpit. So that's going to go right there. It's starting to come together. You want to put these down and there's really no standardized way to do this. Here I'm not even following the other designs. I just know sort of what it looks like. And of course uh, you don't have to follow the exact designs. Once you build this pelican design, just follow the main guidelines, but the rest you can kind of play around with, make your own variant, because as long as you get a, the point across, that's fine. So here what I'm doing is just putting two sets of the columns up, going up either side. Just make sure everything is symmetric and you'll be good. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm comparing both of them, and then I'm putting it here. And then you're going to have crossbars come in uh, to link them where the, uh, the diff where the angles change, essentially. This one I'm turning sideways. There you go. Again, it doesn't really matter what rotation, just go with what kind of looks good for the moment. So that's looking pretty good there. Then I'm going to go ahead and join it to the uh, the main fuselage at the top. And see right there, the angle looks odd. So I change it a little bit just so you get a smooth kind of bending look to the cockpit. So that's what you want to do is when you have your videos, uh, is just try and keep it a looking good. Or sorry, when you have your, your design, just keep it looking good. You don't have to follow any exact coordinate difference between different things, any angle difference. Just go with what looks good, uh, what feels generally right. Here we're going to go and add the wings, so back on 15 degrees, so it's symmetrical with the whole body of the pelican. Then I'm going to put it just about here, slip it across, and that's about good. going to put a second piece underneath, um, and that's going to come right under, just like that. Then I'm going to make a second piece, which is going around on the side. Flip that over, spin it, and I'm going to put it right on top of that just so I know it's at the same height. Then I'm going to slide it across, not really using edit coordinates because it doesn't matter so much. I mean, if you want to be perfect, I guess you could, but this ends up looking the same anyways, and it is quicker uh, because you get a, a pretty good estimate just by freehanding. It doesn't have to be exactly accurate. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, put the second platform uh, four by four corner 4x4 four four piece in the same area. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and link it to the main body of the ship. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. I end up not necessarily liking uh, exactly how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over actually in a little bit. Um, but basically you want to link it up uh, with the main body of your ship. Every piece has to, has to be believably attached. It doesn't have to be necessarily as accurate to the original as possible. Just make it so it looks right because people understand what you're going for and obviously you can have different variants of the pelican so that's that should be fine. So here I decided I wanted it to flip the other way so that's what I did making sure the other one's at the same height. Sliding it over of course it's off so I'm going to adjust it a little bit till it looks about right. I'm going to look at it from above and I realize I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and put the next piece. Next piece is going to be a block on top just so it changes up the, um, the geometry, the coloring and I like the the, just the square look that it gives to the top of the pelican. It looks nice. Also, I'm going to add more bits to the top uh, just to add more contrast, more coloring, more shapes to the pelican to make it seem like it's really a believable thing and not an assimilation of a bunch of different forge pieces. So, it's basically what I'm doing at this point. And then after that, I'm going to go into the decorative section. Yeah, there you can see I grab the struts, spin them around, Flip them so they're again parallel with the uh, the angle of the pelican. Drop them down a bit just like that. Then we go ahead, 
flip the other one, same angle, put it at same height, and at that point I'm going to slide it over, and it's a little off, I'm going to slide it over. That looks good. Again, distances are rough, but no one will notice. So I think that looks nice. Then after that, actually I'm going to go ahead and tweak it slightly. After that I'm going to go ahead and put these blocks in with the same sort of area, slightly overlap like that, just so it, uh, it breaks the uh, the recognizable image of the strut. So that's what you want to do is break up your images um, to really cr make it seem like you have your own forged pieces that you're working with and not just uh, an inventory or a palette. So make it seem like you really, this is really one thing fused together out of a ton of different pieces that aren't from Forge World, that it's an actual built machine. So that's what you, you want to go for. Uh, here, as you can see, there were gaps. I'm going to go ahead and close that off just so it looks like the wing is, again, its own piece, not a variety of pieces put into Forge World. So here I'm going to cover up the sides, and I'm going to pick the wrong piece right there, but then I'm going to go back and get this proper piece you want for right here is this door double, or sorry, wall double. <laughs> so you're going to slide it in just like this. Again, the height, coordinates exactly doesn't really matter, but you want it kind of like this. And the main thing is you want the angle to be following the angle that's basically of the bridges on the bottom. So I'm sliding it over. You can see the more I slide it, it creates different effects with how it interacts with the pelican. So just put it to wherever you think f looks best. Then I'm going to go ahead and put these corner 2x2 two two pieces that are found in the platform section. These ones are going to be tilted slightly up so it follows the... Um, basically the parallel line, so it's parallel to the main body of the pelican. Uh, you'll see in a little more, I'm going to go back and look at the the actual pelican that I that I adapted from X133, and I'm going to realize that these actually need to be slid, uh, slid back a bit, so I'm going to get back to that in a little. And uh, I guess while I'm on the topic, this was obviously made a design made by X133. I went back and he gave me permission of course, I went back and I changed it up a bit, simplified it uh, just so it's really cost affordable. So as you can see here we still have a good amount of budget and we're three pelicans in almost into the design. So just a shout out to him, he does a ton of great aesthetic stuff, check him out, check out his channel, we'll provide a link to his gamer tag in the comments below and also what you'll find is more of his stuff finding its way onto THFE because I really enjoy his work and we're going to be promoting more and more of it. So what I'm doing back here is just adjust, adjusting the tail of the pelican. You're going to put that block piece there and then on each side it's the corner 2x2s. Two You're going to slide them out just like that. And then I'm going to go into the strut, flip it around, and making sure that it's again sort of um, same angle as the back piece like that going out horizontally then I'm going to slide it just like that take the other piece and make sure it's at the same height same angle etc slide it over again no edit coordinates just kind of rough it and it comes out pretty good so once that's in place I'm going to go back and I'm going to try and see what else I can add so I remember that I'm going to add a little more bulkiness to the side sort of playing off what that effect you see up there on the walkway cover, how there are those three sort of black areas right there, I'm adding something under it to make it seem like that's part of the design of the actual pelican. So work with what you see and sort of build off of it. And then on the inside, I'm looking around. I'm going to try and add a bit right here, and this is when I realize, um, I start to realize actually uh, in a couple moments that I have it a little bit off. So I'm taking a look from the inside, it looks pretty good. I'm going to try and add sort of the opening bit to the pelican where troops would come out, sort of the deployable thing right here. And I put it where it should be, but at that point I realize it just really looks off. Um, so I realize I did something wrong. I'm going to go check myself, and I see that those 2x2 two two pieces were actually slid back a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that on my design, slide that back a bit just like that. And you can see I'm adjusting how far out it's sticking out because I think it looks better. And also, I'm going to go ahead and switch that with the cover piece, um, just because it looks a little nicer. It doesn't stick out just as far. And then we have a bottom, and I'm obviously going to throw on a top, so you can imagine it would close up. The whole thing would end up closing up on itself. So I'm going to put that at the top. Um, the downside of not having edit coordinates is that everything isn't even, so I'm going to go ahead and sort of touch up on everything, but that's fine. It really doesn't take that long. Uh, then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add the benches using a railing piece. Stick that in on the side, it looks pretty good. Um, 
you're going to have to play around the angles because I do use 15 or 5 degrees. So depending on which one it is, you may need to use the more accurate one. I'm going to have, go ahead and add the another sort of bench on the other side where the Marines would sit, making sure it's at the same height, same angle, sliding it over. And then uh, I'm going to take a look at the Pelican, and it's looking pretty nice. At this point, I'm thinking about adding a door to the cockpit as I have in the other designs. But um, because of the fact that this Pelican is designed slightly different from the other ones, it's not going to work out in the end. Uh, but since I'm just trying to make a quick tutorial, see it's sticking out here. Since it is a quick tutorial, I am not going to add in the door. What I'm going to do is instead is go ahead and throw in a turret in the front, just so you guys can get a sense of what it's going to be like. So there you go, this is my quick Pelican. I'm going to do a flyover it. As you can see, it looks good, it looks believable, and I used a lot less pieces than any other designs. These, as you can see, I do have the door that worked out because the part that was sticking out was covered by a block. I'm going to go into the cockpit. You can see it has this door barely open, visible. You can see the cockpit it looks a little nicer. It's a little more developed. It took me more time. And as I said before, this design is based off X133. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much. Signing up.